All right, let's get down to business. Urban Expanses introduced a new way to upload and update your mods. This is much steadier than before, but it doesn't have any warnings on what was changed. You no longer will need to use the directory like this. I'll elaborate on why later. For now, replace this with mod dir between two percentages. You can use the direct name directory as before to use stuff that is in the direct vicinity of your XML. You will also note a new folder called local mods. This is important. Not only is this where your new mods will be made, it is also the data the game will use to update your already existing mods. In other words, your folder mods is no longer used to update them. Move all your current work in progress to local mods. But that leaves the new question. Where do your mods go after you upload them? They are now in the Steam Workshops folder. To see this, head over to the Steam Apps folder and then into the workshop. Then head over to the content and you will see this mess of numbers. They are the game's scope. But a trauma is 602960. But if you are interested in other games code, you can do so by going to the store page of the game using a browser and the code will be embedded in the URL. After that, you will need to find the code for your mod. This is the workshop's ID I've been referring before in other videos. Now, after you upload your mod, if you head over it in local mods, the file list will be automatically updated with the workshop ID. Use that number to search for your mod in the workshop's folder. Keep in mind, if you want to make an update to one of your mods, to preview it, you will need to have a local mod enabled rather than the workshops. As you can see, the change in directories to mod dir between percentages is because this is a command, which, very similar to using the name directly, tells the game where to look for the items listed. Since now they can be in one of three different folders, the local mod the newly created, mods the deprecated, or the workshops ID after you upload them, this little command will allow it to not make a mistake, it is dynamic. In true battle trauma fashion, it has backwards compatibility, meaning if you keep using the line as before, there shouldn't be any issues, but please, try to update your mods into the new format to avoid any future problems. Remember, all you need to change is the mods and your mod's name for mod dir between percentages, and then continue as you would normal. One final note, during my ventures some of my mods didn't have the correct hash. How do you fix this? Well, head over to your file list in the local mods, and in this position add the property expected hash equals, and then afterwards add within quotes the first code that drops in the console, then update your mod. While after your update, the expected hash property will be deleted off the local mod, it will be inserted into your workshops, allowing you to patch the incorrect generated hash. I hope this video has helped you into updating your mod or making new ones. See you in the next one. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoyed it, consider subscribing for similar content. Have a fantastic day.